it's Brianne and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step -step how to plan the ultimate summer barbecue for either the 4th of July or for the Olympics or just to get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. But I'm gonna be walking you through how to plan the menu, how to get your home ready if you are entertaining guests for this barbecue, and then step-by-step -step every single recipe that I am planning for, I'll walk you through it. So if you're new here, I hope you subscribe for more homemaking and cleaning videos on my channel, but let's get going. I wanted to do a Team USA themed bouquet for Adam's birthday, and I just love how these blue hydrangea, red roses, and carnations, and then the baby's breath turned out. I feel like it's perfect for 4th of July and for the upcoming Olympic Games. Gosh, I just love how this turned out. Like little red, white, and blue, sort of a bouquet. But okay, I'm gonna clean this up and we'll get to planning this ultimate summer barbecue together. I don't whack the flowers off the counter. Let's walk through planning this barbecue. I have planned so many because my husband's birthday is 4th of July. So we have had lots of summer barbecues at our house for his birthday. So I created this barbecue planner. It's a free printable. You can get it over on visibrico.com. My website, just sign up with your email. I'll send you all my free printables, by the way, not just this one. But we've got to figure out the menu. That's like first and foremost if you're having a barbecue, right? So I've got on here drinks, fruits and veggies, or you can put like any other appetizers you might be having there. But usually at a barbecue, it's kind of like the veggie tray, fruit tray, or like crudite, like cheese and cracker plate that you're kind of going to be able to like set out and leave out for guests. Uh, salad, the main dish, any side dishes that you're having, and then any desserts that you're having. So you can kind of put everything on here. I mean, this is even something where if like you write it really neat and pretty, you could frame this and set it out with the food so guests are kind of like, okay, this is what the menu is going on. Um, I've also done before where if you like put this behind the glass of a picture frame, like you get like a dollar tree picture frame, you can write with dry erase marker on it, um, what everything is. I've done that for some of my kids' parties before too. And I make these little like background printables. This is the menu I came up with, some margaritas for drinks, fruit kebabs, a red, white, and blue salad, all American cheeseburgers, recipe from my cookbook for these really yummy sliders, and then a cheddar bacon ranch potato salad and USA brownies for dessert. So that is what we're gonna be making for this barbecue. So working backwards from the party at one o'clock, I will be making the drinks at the time of the start of the party so that they're nice and fresh. I'll make, make them for guests as they arrive. But about 15 minutes before the party starts is when I wanna be putting out the food. So again, working backwards, the burger is gonna be one of the last things that I wanna have in the oven so that they're nice and hot and ready for when the guests arrive. And I always do like a little final tidy about an hour before my guests are expected or at least I wanna finish about an hour before any guests are expected, just in case somebody comes early so that everything's sort of done. But then the morning of the party is when I can make the fruit skewers and the salad, and I always, too, like to do like a fresh clean of the bathrooms and make sure that everything's stocked as far as like soap and towels and toilet paper, tissues, all of that. But then the day before the actual party is when I would make sure any outdoor prep of the patio happens. Uh, again, just like a good deep clean of all of the bathrooms and anywhere else in the house that needs to get tidied. And then I can make the potato salad the day before. That's something that is fine to sit in the fridge. I can bake the brownies the day before. That is also something I can put in the refrigerator after they're made so that they're fresh and ready for the party. And just if I want the food, especially because there's a lot of fresh veggies and fruits for this, I would you know, want to go shopping ideally the day before the party or if anything, I like could shop like two days before the party possibly. But this is sort of then the calendar that I would be using to make sure everything is ready to go for when the party begins. And then I also have a printable then that has the shopping list. You can write all of the items that you will need to purchase the things that you can prep the day before and then the things to make the day of so that you have a checklist to kind of go through and make sure you've got everything that you need. Let me go grab my cookbook because that's what the main dish is in. Okay, so this is my cookbook. You can get it over on Amazon. But what I want to make for the main dish, let me find it here. Here we go. These sliders, they are so good and they are so easy. And I have another printable for you. Let me grab it. Okay, so this is one of the printables that I also have with these American flags. We're gonna cut them out, put them on toothpicks. I'll put like an after here of what I'm thinking. But that way they can kind of have like a cute decorative, decorative element to them. What am I talking about? 
And don't forget these printables are available for free over on visitbreeco.com. But let's go start prepping all of this yummy barbecue food. Now the brownies are going to be the easiest thing for you to make in advance, so we're gonna actually start with what you eat last, dessert. And you guys know me, I go like very easy peasy on all my dessert stuff. I'm just using boxed brownie mix and canned chocolate frosting, but we're gonna make them look really fun for Team USA with these rainbow, or not rainbow, red, white, and blue sprinkles. Yeah, rainbow sprinkles for Team USA. Oh, red, white, and blue sprinkles. Some of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love And I just followed the brownie package directions for these brownies, but you guys know cosmic brownies are my absolute favorite treat. What is your favorite treat? Let me know down in the comments and maybe I can make some more in upcoming videos. But I feel like this was just a really fun way to make some very patriotic looking brownies. And seriously, the house smelled so amazing while these brownies were baking. I ended up popping them in the fridge so that they could cool even faster. <laughs> a little bit behind the scenes for making this video, um, or if you're ever like in a time crunch. But after probably like a little over an hour, maybe almost two hours, that's when I frosted them with the chocolate fudge frosting and topped them with the red, white, and blue sprinkles. So go team USA. <laughs> and I know a lot of other countries are red, white, and blue too, so you can totally take these and adapt them for wherever you live. Now time to boil the water for the potato salad and I actually did this wrong, it still turned out fine, but you should put the potatoes and salt in the cold water and then turn on the heat to boil the water, just FYI, I'm gonna do it the right way. <laughs> um, do as I say, not as I do. All right, next I'm gonna be prepping the bacon cheddar ranch potato salad. So I've got these called Ruby Sensation potatoes. FYI, these say they're pre-washed and ready to cook. But chop up your potatoes into bite-sized pieces. For me, this is like quartering them and then boil them for 10 to 15 minutes. You want them to be soft so that you can easily poke them with a fork, but you don't want them too soft that they're falling apart. So just kind of keep an eye on your potatoes. And while they're cooking, mix one and a half cups of mayo. I used olive oil mayo and then about a half a cup of ranch dressing. I kind of eyeballed all of this, guys. Oh, I didn't like follow recipe. I just kind of know the basics of potato salad. And I made this because I know Adam will like this version of potato salad a lot. The story of us and how we never Um, but then once your potatoes are done, drain them, rinse them in cool water, and then once the potatoes have cooled, that's when you add them to the olive oil, mayo, and ranch seasoning mixture. Don't add them hot or it will like melt everything. Um, and then add the crumbled bacon and shredded cheddar cheese. Similarly, like that's why you don't want the cheese to melt either. Um, so you want the potatoes to be cool. But mix all of this together until your potatoes are all coated. And 
this is optional, but I wanted to add a little bit of color and crunch to this salad, so I chopped up a bunch of green onions and I added those to the mix too. And if you want your potato salad to like look really pretty when you're presenting this at your barbecue, reserve a little bit of the bacon, the cheese, and the green onion. And once it's all mixed together, just sprinkle a little bit of that on the top as like a garnish. And you can keep this in the fridge until you're ready to serve it. So this is something you can definitely make the day before too. Don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming. And this is the red, white, and blue salad. So I just have some, it's like baby spring mix. It says it's a mix of baby lettuces. And then blueberries and strawberries. I'm gonna rinse these and cut the strawberries. And then some crumbled uh, feta cheese. So it's red, white, and blue are red, white, and blue. Oh my gosh, I haven't even made the margaritas yet, guys. And if you do end up making this red, white, and blue salad in advance, just don't add the dressing until you are ready to serve it. Even like the morning of, wait until you're ready to serve it to add the dressing or else the lettuce can get really gross and like kind of slimy. Um, but I love how colorful all of the berries and just like how pretty that this salad looks. Now for this salad, you could do oil and vinegar. I found this apple cider vinegar dressing that I got from Chosen that I love. A balsamic would be good with this, or even a poppy seed dressing would be really good too. But this is such a yummy red, white, and blue salad. I just love this one. I feel like it is so pretty. And I know that this is one of Adam's favorite type of salads too. He loves when there's like fruit and either feta cheese or goat cheese on salad. So I know he'll love this for his birthday. I might be dreaming. All right, now I'm going to make those really adorable star-topped fruit skewers. So I say here we go. For these kebabs, slice your watermelon into one inch thick slices and use star cookie cutters, and then you have your little watermelon stars. I ended up using two different sizes to have some variety. You. I'm only gonna be able to make five of these because they subbed on my order of baby watermelon for like a big watermelon. So I was able to do about five of the stars. So if you have a lot more people coming, make sure you get an actual like large size watermelon for these, but they'll still be cute. So I'm just going to stack like a couple of blueberries. Let's see about how many I want it to be. Just to where it like starts at the top of the mason jar. Adam has Hayden and Presley in the other room. Um, I'm just gonna go like blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. You get the idea, you know, patterns. But this would actually be really fun to do with the kids too for like them to do it. And then on top of this, I'm gonna start with one of the smaller um, stars, but put then the star on the top. And isn't that so adorable? I love that. And then I'm just gonna put them all like in the mason jar, so they kind of look like a little like kebab bouquet. Mm -hmm. 
But seriously, this would be such a fun treat to have your kids help you make. I saw some other varieties that had blueberries, raspberries, and marshmallows for like red, white, and blue. And then there was this other one where they made it look like the American flag, where they had like the blueberries at the top for like the stars or like blueberries and marshmallows. And then they had um, strawberries and bananas to make the stripes and like how the skewers were set on the platter. It looked like the American flag. It was super cute. Look at Pinterest if you want other ideas. And it's so wrong, but still so strong. But I like it, like, like it, like that. All right, time to make these all-American sliders. They are seriously so good. Just trust me. Um, push the ground meat into a 13 by 9 dish. You don't have to um, boil it because there's already like fat in the meat. But just warning, this will shrink a lot when you cook it. So like, don't worry that it's like not the same size as the buns. It will be after it's cooked. But season it with salt and pepper and bake at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. So I'm just going to take these King Hawaiian sweet rolls and cut them in half so that I can toast them. You don't have to toast them, but I prefer them to be toasted. Either way though, you want to cut them like right down the middle because you're going to be putting your burger patties inside of them. Like it like that. Slice your Hawaiian rolls in half. Spray with olive oil spray or avocado spray, that's what I used, um, to toast them. And I just put them in with the meat on like a different rack and kept an eye on them until they looked toasted. Um, and then I drained the juice from the meat when it was done cooking and I topped it with American cheese slices and put that back into the oven and again just eyeball it until the cheese is like nice and gooey and melted. And then I sprayed the avocado oil on top of the slider buns and topped them with the sesame seeds so that they look like Big Mac style. Um, and then on the bottom of the buns, lather on some Thousand Island dressing, top with shredded lettuce, and then add the meat and cheese and the sesame seed tops. Then you can cut these into slider size and enjoy. Burgers are seriously one of my favorite things in my cookbook. They're so good. I like. It's so good. You have got to try these. Like, even if you don't make anything else, make these. They're amazing. Hi, what you doing? We have two babies. What are their names? Uh. Landon and Presley. Landon and Presley? Mm -hmm. And you're the mommy? Mm -hmm. Aww. For these American flag toothpicks, I also have Olympic flags and I took your request on Instagram. We're going to be making a bunch of other countries' flags too. So make sure you're signed up for my printables on bitsofbrico.com and that way you can have them to represent your country when the Olympics start because I know that we have loves all over the world in this community. but. Just cut out those flags and I used a glue stick so that they would be sealed then when I folded them around the toothpick. And the kids also help with these, um, so very fun. And I put them in the tops of the slider buns. Yeah, you need a bath is what you need, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, she was my uh, taste tester for the brownies. They taste good? I taste good. What? Oh, Presley, you just got that on me, honey. Well, Adam gives Prezi a bath. <laughs> Mommy's gonna get this party started, making these firecracker margaritas. So you use blue curacao, tequila, lime juice, agave to sweeten it. I have some limes too. I could have made like real lime juice. I'm just going the lazy route. Um, and then pop rocks for around the rim, rim, rim. 
Um, and I thought, so I, I'm gonna use the red Pop Rocks because of the blue, but my thought was if you found the blue Pop Rocks, you could make blue rimmed ones and use like strawberry or cranberry juice even and like have both different colors, like a red and blue twist. I'll try to show you what I mean. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is make the rim using the Pop Rocks. So I'm just gonna pour my Pop Rocks onto a plate. I'd say if you're like making a lot of these, get a lot of Pop Rocks because I'm not sure how many of this is like technically gonna do. But then with my like lime wedge, I'm just gonna run this all along the rim so that it gets nice and wet and coated because that's what the Pop Rocks are gonna stick to. And let me show you. I'm just gonna like run the rim on the Pop Rocks. It kind of works good if you like sort of like shove the rim up against the side of the plate, like if there's a side of the plate, it just helps more like get crusted on it there. <laughs> Some are like popping off, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Then, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a shot of the blue Curacao, which I believe is like orange flavored. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that, but okay, I'm gonna do a shot of the blue carousel and a shot of Patron. Tequila, whatever tequila you like. <laughs> oh, Landon was making the Olympic flags for me. Thank you, baby. Can you go set that in? Is, I made a very good one. You did make a really good one. I'm so appreciative of you. Um, then I'm gonna take a little squirt of agave and Sweeten this puppy up. This is, I can't think. <laughs> this is optional depending how sweet you want your margarita. And then lime juice. And I like can't help but now in my head be like the lime and the coconut and mix them all together. Shake it up. Shaking up. Show you guys. Ah, it's still snapping. Is that not the cutest drink for Fourth of July? It's like, and it literally is fizzing. It's like the perfect name that it's the firecracker margarita. It's only for adults, baby. Sorry. I can try to make the kids lemonade again. Okay. I have. By the way, if your kids like want something like this. I have a blue lemonade, it's like the same color as this in my Summer Clean and Decorate With Me oh, video. Oh yeah, I love blue lemonade. Yeah, I'll try I'm to make. Have that. Well, you can't have the lemonade, it's the citrus. I'll try to think of something that I can make for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and for this red one, I used the same ingredients, two ounces of tequila, two ounces of lime juice, splash of agave, however sweet you like it, and then two ounces of cranberry juice and the blue pop rock rim, so this way you can have a red firecracker mark. My vision did come to life. So you could make like a blue firecracker margarita with the blue carousel, or you could do a red firecracker margarita using cranberry juice and like alternate the pop rock colors with the red and blue. So I feel like that's so fun. And do you hear them how they're like, I just feel like they're so fun. Do you hear them how they're like literally crackling like a firecracker? I just think that's one of the coolest drinks ever. This is how you can have the best summer barbecue or 4th of July party or Olympic celebration possible. Go Team USA. But seriously, I hope that you enjoy all these recipes. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make any of these. Share this video with any of your friends who love like recipes or homemaking, stuff like that too. I would love to have them join our community. and. Cheers to you. God bless the USA. Bye, love. Oh, God, that's so good. Seriously, it's so good. <laughs>